This is your first Olympic campaign together. What's your advice to yourselves when you first started this campaign? Oh, wow. Um, she's on the spot. <laughs> um, probably, given what's going on and since we started campaigning, I'd say be, be prepared for adversity and, you know, face it head on, which is exactly, you know, what we've done. Nice. Give it heaps. Give it heaps. <laughs> awesome. You might be able to achieve what your dream, so yeah. go for it. Oh, cheesy. Go for it. So cheesy. <laughs> um, and what has this extra year given you guys? How has it cha changed your campaign or your approach to your campaign? Um, yeah, so we've, you know, coming from a pretty challenging situation, we've spun into a bit of a positive for us. So we only sailed together for a year before the games got delayed. Um, and so we've had an, another year to train and prep. And we're actually in a lot better space now than we would be if the games went ahead last year, which is, this is really exciting. We've put some hard work in. Excellent. What is one non-sailing essential item that you need to bring with you when you travel, especially to the games? <laughs> um, cards, always, because yeah. I think we're going to get a lot of a lot of downtime in our hotel. Um, so yeah, take some games. Yeah. Games. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of 500 the card game <laughs> in isolation, and yeah, that's going to that's going to roll on. <laughs> Epic. Um, there's been a lot of changes in the sailing uh, for the 2024 Paris Olympics. So how do you think that this Olympic sailing is going to evolve or what do you want it to evolve into? Wow. Wow, that's a good one again. You got me. Um, I can't even keep up with the changes. What was it? The keelboat got ruled out recently. Yeah, something? so for example, yeah, the, the double-handed offshore is gone. Yep. Um, but what's more interesting is they've added some foiling. So there's kite foiling in there for men and women. Um, obviously, you guys are, are foiling. Um, and then the 470s are mixed. Um, so there's a, yeah wind foiling as well. So the wind surfing has gone from regular to foiling. So what do you think? how do you think that's going to evolve sailing in an Olympic setting? I like that sailing's evolved. That some new classes that, you know, wind foiling, for example, is so popular worldwide. So it's really good to see that. You know, bought into an Olympic class, but at the same time, they're still keeping hold of those purest Olympic classes like the 470 that, you know, provide the really tight, you know, really tactical racing as well. So it's nice that it's evolving in a popularity sense, but also keeps a little bit of that purest aspect.